This video shows the main features of the Knowledge Builder of K-Infinity in two minutes. Based on an example with organizations and employees, we will show how to set up objects and relations. First of all, we need to create the type organization. For this type, as for all other types we create, we can choose a color and an icon. Next, we create the relation organization employees person and the corresponding inverse relation. For the domain, we determine the type organization and for the target domain, we determine the type person. To add a company to our network, we have to select the corresponding type where we can click on the tab instances and enter the name of the company. The graph editor enables us to add relations and objects with drag and drop. That way our knowledge network grows until we have added many types and objects which are related to each other. The graphical representation helps us to stay on top of things. Now we build a query that returns which companies we have added so far. As a result, we only want the companies where we already know the names of the employees. Queries can become arbitrarily complex. We don't have to put all our knowledge manually into our network. We can create a new mapping of a data source to import data in K-Infinity from structured sources. Also, we can export objects and their attributes in a structured form. Here, the import process is shown based on a CSV table. A lot of applications in many industry sectors use knowledge networks. They match potential business partners, they find the product you are looking for, or recommend the right movie for your next movie evening. The front end can be customized after your individual wishes. And always keep in mind, love your data, link your data.